Well, good afternoon. My name is Donna Young. I am the executive chef of the Napa Valley Wine Train. And uh, I also uh, help oversee the River Terrace Inn here in Napa, California. Uh, both properties are unique to themselves. And I, first I'd like to start with the, the River Terrace Inn. It truly is a, a hidden gem. You know, it's, it's right in the heart of uh, downtown Napa on the Napa River. And uh, it's a, it's a, I don't want to say it's like a well-kept secret, but it's, uh, it truly is a, a very nice place to stay. Uh, the attention, the detail throughout the hotel is, is very evident uh, once you're a guest here. And uh, in January, we'll be, we'll be changing the, the menu that we have now to some smaller plate oriented, um, you know, presentations and items. Uh, it'd be, you know, really a really good thing for anybody to come and try. Why do you decide to go to the small plates? There was a reason why you decided to start going okay. more towards small okay. plates. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we came up with, myself and the corporate chef, about a few months ago, we came up with a plan to uh, to see what was, you know, what was selling here, what wasn't, uh, what the people wanted. So it, it it became evident to us that the smaller plates that we did offer on the menu were the were the items that were basically you know flying out of the kitchen. So we kind of did a little back thinking on a few things, and uh, we came up with a small plate menu, you know, for when we have the happy hours. And uh, the guests seem to like sharing the small plates. You know, they they fit great on the table. You can have four or five going at once. Uh, so what's some examples of some small plates that are popular here? Well, the, the number one are the, uh, the, the tuna tacos. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, with, uh, you know, crispy wonton shell, the sriracha aioli, you know, the, the sushi grade tuna. Uh, they're just, they're cute little things, you know. They just, they fly off the shelf. Um, the Kobe, the Kobe beef sliders with the Tellagio cheese and the, uh, you know, the avocado salsa is another great one. And people like to pair that with different cocktails. I think you're known for having. Yes, there are our mixologists. They prepare, you know, s several craft cocktails. Um, I couldn't name them right now, but they, but they are very they are very popular and tasty, and they they really do work well with our with our small plate offerings. So how long have you been executive chef of uh, Napa Valley Wine Train? Uh, going on about three years now. And that, is that a challenge, being executive chef of uh, a train? Yes. I mean, my, my background are, are high-end hotels and, and restaurants, and um, I'd never worked on a train until I got here. So what, what we do is we, we take what we did in the, in, the, in the nicer establishments, and we try to adapt it to work in this moving, bumping train environment. And everything is prepared on the train. Everything, everything. I have, I have an 8,000 square foot commissary, so all our soups and stocks, you know, veal stocks, chicken stocks, everything's done from scratch. Uh, everything is, is prepped and ready to go on the train, but all the final firing is done, done on board. The saute, the grill, you know, the different, the proteins our fish. Uh, we only use, you know, sustainable uh, fish from a, an approved seafood source. The, the produce, when it's th that time of the year, the, the heirloom tomatoes we get from Lodi, California, Golden Bear Ranch, I mean, unbelievable. The, uh, the goat cheese, Sky Hill Farms goat cheese, lo local over, you know, across the hill here. The honey as well. I mean, the produce here is just, is, is like off the charts. So it's like a chef's, a chef's, you know, dream to come to be able to work with some of the stuff. So do you change the menu very often on the train? The tra we do it seasonally. Uh, so we just did it for the winter, winter months. And we, ha we have five different menus. There's four trains, but five different menus. And we will change them seasonally. Or if, you know, we decide that we want to change it, you know, we'll change it. Do you ever have any special events where someone takes the whole train? Yes, yes we do. It's, uh, matter of fact, January 12th, we have a, a buyout on the train for 160 people. So it'll be a you know, four course, you know, set menu, and we'll do that. Um, the smaller trains for little corporate events, because they only hold 35 people. So we can really, really do some, some, some super tasting looking, 
you know, presentations. You know, it's, 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 it really is a lot of fun, but you have to be able to adapt. That's the thing. Very small environment on board and the constant movement. Yeah, and most people don't think about that when they're on the train. They're just enjoying their meal. That's they're not it. thinking about what you're going That's through in it. the back. But they do, they do, they are funny because they'll come and, and they'll walk by the kitchen, especially on the smaller consists, and they'll take a double take and they'll say, how did you guys do that out right. of there? Magic. <laughs> Magic. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.